Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, More and More Geckos. If you're new to this channel, can you please smash that like button for me? Don't forget to comment down below and let me know how your day is going down in the comment section. And please subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you guys know when I upload new videos just like this. And let's get today's video started. <music> I just wanted to give you a closer look at the black soldier fly larva that we have. So I'm just gonna take the lid off and as you can tell, they ship this package amazingly, like in a small box. And then they gave me this wonderful, wonderful um, little deli cup with like tons of breathing holes. And I really like how they all like lined up and even because usually most deli cups I get are never like this. I mean, they ship really, really well. And then as we, as you can tell, we have tons of worms. All the worms are alive. We didn't even get a single dead one. I mean, like we got some darker ones that are closer to the forming stage. We got some newer ones. I mean, there's so many wonderful worms. And as you can tell, we have so many in here. We have a 500 count. And if you guys want to get your order of Grub Terror, all you have to do is put the code in GRUB10 into your order and you guys can get 10% off your entire order on Grub Terror. So go please check them out. Links in the description as well as the comment area. So guys, as you guys can tell, my reptiles enjoy the black soldier fly larva. And if you want to try on some of your reptiles, guys, links in the description as well as the comment area. All you guys have to do is put the code in GRUB10 into your order and you guys can get 10% off your order of black soldier fly larva. And now let's move on to today's video. So guys, we're going to be talking about fire stings today, how to care for your fire skin and how to set up the proper enclosure for your fire skin. So fire skinks come from Western Africa. They like to live in the woodland type of areas and the rainforest type areas down in Western Africa. You guys can find these guys all around there if you just look in the right areas. So fire skinks are usually um, imported and they're wild caught and they're imported here and that's usually how they're sold as pets. But if you guys can get captive bred fire skinks, that's what you're gonna wanna look for if you're gonna get a pet fire skink. Because if you get a wild one, they're usually gonna have problems like um, parasites and plus it helps um, not to get like a wild caught one because the wild caught ones need to stay in the wild so therefore they can keep producing. So we have fire skinks out in the wild because we don't wanna reduce the population of fire skinks out there because these guys are very difficult to breed. So guys, let's talk about the care and setup for your fire skink. So guys, for every fire skink you have for your enclosure, you're gonna at least need to add 20 gallons for every fire skink you have. So say if I have two fire skinks, I'm gonna need a 40 gallon tank. Now, if you wanna house your fire skinks in a 20 gallon together, male and female for breeding, that's perfectly fine. But once breeding is over, I would recommend separating them because 20 gallon is huge for your fire skinks. That's what I like to use just because it gives them a lot of room and climbing room, but that's just for one fire skink each. Now, I don't like to house my fire skinks together unless I'm gonna be breeding them and then I take them apart because we're looking to produce these guys. But if you guys are gonna just breed for a short time, you can totally put two fire skinks in a 20 gallon tank. 
they have so much room and they're not going to be all around the tank they're not like a iguana or something that takes the whole tank up guys they have a lot of climbing room and they like to have a lot of room to move around so 20 gallon tank is perfect now if you want to go smaller i really don't recommend that unless you're using a baby like if you have a baby fire skink that's usually around one to two inches you're going to want at least a five to ten gallon tank just and you just want to move it up as it grows and then eventually into a 20 gallon and then if you want to go bigger and better you could go to a 40 or 50 gallon tank for your fire skink just make sure wherever tank you're using you have some climbing areas for your fire skink because they're going to like to climb a lot because people don't really know notice it but fire skinks love to climb and they like to move around and they like to get off the ground a lot so guys you're going to want to make sure you have a lot of branches and a lot of climbing stuff for your fire skinks you're also going to want to have around five to six inches of dirt now some people will go a little bit shorter than that but i like to have a lot of room of dirt because out in the wild they like to dig down deep and you're going to want to make it really naturalistic for the fire skink and plus it makes them feel safer if you have a big thick layer of eco earth or whatever substrate you may use now i like to use eco earth just because it doesn't impact my reptiles and i have a thing against impaction and i just want to make sure my reptiles do not get impacted now you could also use other substrate like mulch and you could also use um leaf litter you can also use moss you can use tons of different substrates for your fire skin but i've noticed fire skins just do better with eco earth i've tested a few other ones and they just seem to do best on eco earth Whatever substrate you're going to use, just make sure you have a few inches of eco earth. Then I like to add a few hides into my fire skin enclosure. Now, I like to add three hides, and then I like to add a few um, branches and, or, or cork flats, wherever you may have. Cork flats seem to work pretty well for your fire skink, but you also could add branches and cork flats if you wanted to. You're also going to want to add some plants just to add a little bit of color and um, something for your fire skink to hide as well. Now, I like to have three plants just lined up around the container so that way they can have different areas to climb over and go under the plants as well. And then I like to have two water dishes because I feed my fire skinks from the air so I don't have to worry about my fire skinks um, not getting fed. I feed my fire skinks on tweezers, so therefore you don't have to worry about like the fire skinks not getting fed. Now, if you want to use one dish for food and one dish for a water dish, that's also perfectly fine. But if you want to feed your fire skinks on tweezers just to make sure they're getting their food, uh, I like to do that and I like to give them two water dishes because people may not know it, but fire skinks like drink a lot of water. So I like to have two water dishes to keep them really hydrated and then I like to mist around the container to also keep them hydrated because they like to drink off the droplets and then I usually dump quite a bit of crickets in there so they have crickets to hunt. And then I also feed them a few superworms on the tongs. So that way I'm making sure they're getting their fit, like all their calcium and all their food. And it's just a good way to keep your fire skinks healthy and active by dumping crickets. And then also feeding them superworms off tweezers. So guys, I'm going to show you the habitat I built for my fire skinks. And then we're going to go a little bit more about the care of fire skinks. So guys, here is my habitat that I set up for my fire skinks. I have three hives, two water dish cork flats and vines and then i have heating and lighting on top now we're going to talk about heating and lighting and um a little bit more about fire skinks in the next clip so as you can tell i missed down the container for humidity Alrighty, guys so let's talk about the lighting and a little bit more about fire skinks so fire skinks are at least going to need to require uva and uvb for their terrarium now or your enclosure wherever you're going to house your fire skink in now, fire skinks also are going to need their um, cold side to be around 80 to 85 Fahrenheit and then their hot side to 90 to 95. You guys want to keep it somewhere in between those ranges just so you guys have a good um, temperatures for your fire skinks. Now, fire skinks get around, I would say around 13 to 15 inches. My skinks are a little bit in between, closer to 14 inches, but now they can get a little bit smaller depending on the sex of your fire skinks. Now females get a little bit smaller than 14 or 15 um, inches, and then males usually are around 14 and 15 inches. Now fire skinks usually weigh anywhere between, you know, around like 40 to I would say 100 grams as adults. I've had my fire skink, which is around 100 and something grams, and then I've had my younger fire skink, which is around 60 grams. And then babies are usually um, pretty small. And in array from like, I would say a baby would be considered anything under 20 grams would be considered a baby. And that's um, around the weight size for your fire skink. And fire skinks are pretty good on handling. They are pretty chill. Like my fire skinks, I can handle them very easily. And all you have to do is just 
pretty much take them out every single day and just hold them because fire skinks at first can be very intimidated by you so just by giving them a few days off and then starting to handle them right when you first get them that's going to be a great way how you can build that like bonding experience and calm your fire skink down so guys let's move on to a clip of me showing you what i feed my um fire skinks so guys let's go over what i feed my two fire skinks so i have some black soldier fly larva which i feed to my fire skinks um i don't feed these too often just because um i like to switch it up because i like to switch my food every few days on when i give my fire skinks i also like to feed them large crickets medium crickets different size crickets to get their brain working and then right here i like to give my fire skinks wax worms i think i have like a hundred in here um we'll take this out there we go so i like to just give these guys as treats probably like every two weeks i like to give them um a wax worm or so just so it keeps them a little bit um happy and excited to get something different because it's nice to give your reptiles different options and then in here i feed superworms so as you can tell there's a superworm in the corner we'll go and grab it and i feed these guys um around every two days i like to give superworms just because it's really good for my fire skinks and they seem to really like superworms over any of the other worms so i really recommend superworms if you have a fire skink and then over here, I feed mealworms. Um, and I just like to give these guys, I have forming mealworms, I have beetles, other mealworms. I just have different sizes of mealworms because my fire skinks like different sizes and I just like to switch up. So I just give them a few of these guys every few days. And that's what I feed my fire skinks. If you want to see how I care for my food, because as you can tell, I don't have dead worms laying around and all that. If you want to see how I care for my food, just comment down below and I can get, do a video on how I take care of food for reptiles. Alrighty guys, so sadly we are wrapping up today's video, but if you did enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know how that day is going down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you guys know when I upload future videos like this. And remember guys, if you guys put the code in GRUB10 into your order on GRUBTERRA, you guys can get 10% off your entire order on GRUBTERRA. So go please check them out. Links in the description as well as the comment area. Please go show them some love and let them know I sent you. And remember to have one amazing day. And if you don't mind, can you please check out this video of all my reptiles and this video of me feeding my fire skink. Remember to have one amazing day and I'll see you all next time.